Well, if you're like me or know someone like me that loves Halloween, they'll definitely appreciate a Halloween card. And today we have a freebie for you. Uh, it's very simple and very, um, very colorful. So I don't really think we even need to do any inking or anything like that. Um, I kind of pre-pieced it just so that I know where everything goes. And let's just jump right in. It's basically a, a paper piecing sort of piece, um, nothing crazy. So here is our uh, card base. I've already folded it at the score mark here. And I used my little silhouette scraper to kind of make that fold a little more pronounced uh, and just help it fold better. Now we've got this insert. We're gonna glue that right inside the card here. And I actually used my, my Silhouette Cameo to do this. Uh, actually, it was on the phone the other day. I think it was yesterday with a customer, I think her name was Margaret, who was doing a print and cut with our, our Gobble Free Turkey card uh, on colored paper, which I struggle with with my Cricut. For some reason, it doesn't like to print and cut on colored paper, so I always use my silhouette to do that job, but if you can get it to work with your Cricut, then more power to you. Okay, so that insert's gonna go right in there. We've got the little sentiment with the print and cut, and then you've got plenty of room inside to write a little message. So that is first. Then we're gonna take this black layer, and it's gonna glue that down, very simple. Now go easy on the glue here. You don't need a lot. You don't wanna warp the paper. And there's a lot of little details here, so try to get the glue out to as many of the extremities, so to speak, as you can. And you gotta work kinda quick so the glue doesn't start to dry up on you. Okay, and you can see here the top left is nice and square. We're gonna match that up with the top left corner as well. And then there's also the little shadow areas for the broom and such. Just wanna make sure that we get all that aligned nicely. There we go. That looks good. Okay, let's press that down, make sure it's got a good hold all the way around. And I am actually, I'm dressed up because we are heading to an apple orchard today. I'm gonna go pick up my mom. All right, so uh, next we're gonna take the purple part of her dress and we'll get that in place. So I'm just, Going very easy on the glue here, but making sure that I'm being thorough. And again, you can see how it's kind of squared up on the top left. Just want to match that up with the top left again. And just like that. Should match up with the rest of the dress there as well. Okay. And then we can take this layer that goes on top and get that in place as well. And you'll see there that this area is also kind of squared up. So all we need to do is just match that up again. Very simple. So far, so good. Just like that. Make sure it's nice and flush there. Beautiful. Okay. Now we've got a little accent piece. This little orange bit is gonna go right in there. She's got a little rip in her dress there. And we'll just throw a couple little dots of glue on there. We don't need a whole lot. And that's just gonna go in there just like that. Like that, okay. Uh, may as well get her little stocking in place. Now this is gonna fit just like a little puzzle piece right in there, like that. Okay, so let's get our glue on this piece here. And just pop that right in place. Just make sure that you get it right in there like a little puzzle. It should fit perfectly. Nice and flush. Perfect. Okay, great. All right, now we do have a little accent piece that goes uh, just above her I guess this would be her sock. She's wearing some neon green socks. This is one eclectic witch. But it really makes it fun. Okay, now we've got a little heel. A little 
the, I guess the orange part of her shoe. And that's going to go right there, just like that. Just get that nice and lined up. I'm going to throw a few little rhinestones here and there just to jazz it up. And now I've got a little yellow buckle. And that is going to go right, where's that going? That's going right there, just like that. Perfect. Okay, uh, let's just finish up the broom. There's this piece here, nice thin little piece for the top of her broom. And you can see how that's going to fit in. And this again is kind of like a little puzzle piece. You just need to pop that right into place like so. There we go. And then there's a bottom section to her broom as well. So we'll get that glued into place. This card, I literally just cut it out. It didn't take that long at all. Maybe 10 minutes at the most. And aside from her stocking, we're not using any patterned paper. So you just match it up with the colors that we have here. Use whatever you have. Closest thing you have will work, I'm sure. And you got yourself a card. You could definitely mass produce these. I'm sure there's someone in your family that would appreciate a Halloween card, especially a handmade one. Okay, so we'll get our, get this part of the broom in place. And that's gonna fit in like a little puzzle as well, right up against the broom stick, like that. And then we've got a final little piece here just to kind of make the broom look a little two-toned and a little more Halloween-y. That reminds me of a joke. I forgot how it goes. It's something like, why was Frankenstein so embarrassed all the time? It's because he had a Halloween-y. There you go. All right, so that's how that works. Pop that right in place. Like I said, I'm gonna add some Add some bling to this, but your card is done, like I said, very quick. And of course, it wouldn't be complete without an envelope to go with it. Okay, so here is the envelope. It's one piece. I've already folded everything. And we do have, so we like to make things pretty here. This little flap, it's gonna go behind there. You're gonna have a nice little, uh, nice little contrasting black coming out. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to put our glue on all of these, or basically this whole little section back here. Try not to get it too close to the little cutouts there. We don't want to create a mess. We don't want that glue to seep through. Okay, there we go. And then I would just pop it in right into that little crevice where the fold is, and then just fold it over. Make sure that it's nice and aligned on the left and right, and then go ahead and press that down. Just like that. And then, it's not just a witch's hat. We've got a cool little pumpkin to go with it. So we'll throw our glue on the back of his face. And it's gonna be a little bit of a gap. Actually, there are some little markers there to help you with the placement of Mr. Pumpkin's face. And now I'm noticing here that this little piece, I didn't get enough glue on it, and it's kind of sticking up. So I'm just gonna grab a scrap piece of paper throw a little bit of glue on it and just kind of paint the underside of this little section with a little extra glue and then press that down to get that to really stick. There's a little bit over here too that's kind of loose. I don't like that, so we're going to fix it. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so now to finish up the envelope, you want to fold in the sides first and go very easy on the glue here. Sometimes when I do too much, it kind of warps it. So I'm just going really light and then just fold this up and press that down. There we go. And your envelope is complete, ready for your beautiful card. <laughs> I guess I didn't get enough glue on there. That and it is dry now. We've had so much humidity and now because fall's here, it's drying out. Anyway, just be more patient with this while it sets. I can assure you that this will fit. I just have to show you. There we go. 
and your card is ready to go. And I do have one more little area up here that is not sitting flat, and I don't like that. I want to do my best work. Just throw a little glue in there and press that down. There we go. So that is it. Quick little uh, Halloween card for a friend, family member, anybody that loves Halloween will certainly appreciate it. Uh, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the process. If you did, uh, please take a moment and hit that subscribe button. Help me build my YouTube channel. Uh, lets me know that you enjoy crafting with me as well. And if you make this or anything from our Something Spooky bundle or any of our Halloween stuff, we'd love to see it. So join us in the official group on Facebook. Just head over to your Facebook, do a search for Dreaming Tree Group, and you can join myself and 15,000 plus other dreamers that inspire us daily. So thank you for hanging out with me, and I look forward to crafting with you next time.